Hey, welcome back. As you can see, there's a new face on the channel. It's me. Hi. The Vikings may have been hated by many for raiding, pillaging and being pagan, but Vikings also famously didn't care. They were fearsome warriors out for fame and riches and weren't particularly religious. I'm here to talk you through why the Vikings of old converted from paganism to Christianity. So stay tuned because the Swedes didn't convert for the same reason as the Danes and the Danes didn't convert for the same reasons as the Norwegians. There are a lot of factors to consider so let's get into it. To begin we'll look at the conversion of the Vikings in England from paganism to Christianity which occurred in a context shaped by the interactions and assimilation of the Vikings into the existing Christian society of Anglo-Saxon England. The Vikings, through their settlements and eventual rule in parts of England, were exposed to Christianity from the Christianized Anglo-Saxons. During the 9th and 10th centuries, the Vikings settled in various regions of England, establishing their own communities and exerting influence particularly in areas known as the Danelaw. These settlements placed the Vikings in close proximity to Christian Anglo-Saxon communities. And over time, the exposure to the already Christianized society they inhabited played a significant role in the gradual adaptation of Christianity among the Vikings in England. The assimilation of Christianity among the Vikings in England was a more integrative and absorptive process the coexistence with the Christian Anglo-Saxon population led to the absorption of Christian practices, cultural practices and beliefs into the Viking way of life. The presence of Christian churches and the influence of Christian leaders in the regions where the Vikings settled contributed to the exposure and subsequent acceptance of Christianity among the Viking communities. Furthermore, as the Vikings in England established their presence and authority in these regions, they encountered the benefits of aligning with Christianity. For instance, accepting Christianity could facilitate better relations and governance of the populace, as many of the people they ruled were already Christian. This provided a practical incentive for the Vikings to adopt the religion of the local population that they governed. The process of Christianization among the Vikings in England was more integrative and less influenced by missionary efforts or centralized decrees. Instead, it was a result of the assimilation into an already Christianized society, with the Vikings gradually adopting Christian practices over time. The coexistence and interaction with the Christian Anglo-Saxon communities led to the absorption of Christian beliefs within these Viking settlements. And in summary, the conversion of the Vikings in England to Christianity was primarily a result of this assimilation, their exposure to Christians and to Anglo-Saxons in general. Now the Danish Vikings conversion from paganism to Christianity was a process influenced by a combination of political, economic and cultural factors. Denmark, with its extensive trade networks and interactions with Christian societies, experienced a conversion that, while gradual, also had pivotal moments of centralised influence. The Danish Vikings engaged extensively in trade, leading to increased exposure to Christian communities. This exposure to Christian beliefs and practices set the stage for the eventual acceptance of Christianity within Danish society. Political alliances and economic advantages with Christian kingdoms were compelling factors that influenced the Danish conversion. The prospect of favourable trade partnerships and political alliances motivated the Danish leaders and communities to consider adopting Christianity. King Harald Bluetooth, a prominent figure in Danish history, played a crucial role in the formal adoption of Christianity in Denmark. Under his rule in the 10th century, Harald Bluetooth successfully unified Denmark and Norway and he also led the formal acceptance of Christianity, making it the official religion of Denmark. 
His conversion was significant as it brought a centralized influence that led to the promotion of Christianity through Danish territories. His policies and decrees promoting Christianity laid the groundwork for the gradual shift in religious beliefs. The Danish conversion, however, was not a swift abandonment of pagan traditions. Elements of pagan practices continued to coexist alongside the adoption of Christianity. This amalgamation of beliefs allowed for a gradual transition, permitting the Danish Vikings to retain some of their cultural heritage while incorporating Christian practices. The coexistence of both belief systems reflected a transitional phase in Danish society, with a gradual integration of Christianity into their existing cultural fabric. The Danish Viking conversion, therefore, was marked by influential figures like King Harold Bluetooth, political considerations, economic incentives, and the gradual blending of pagan and Christian beliefs. These combined factors resulted in a more centralised adoption of Christianity, although with an ongoing integration of both religious systems for a period of time. The conversion of the Swedish Vikings from paganism to Christianity was influenced by a blend of external influences, including interactions with neighbouring Christian societies and the assimilation of Christian practices through various means. The Swedish Vikings, residing in what's now Monday Sweden, encountered Christianity through their connections with Christian cultures, primarily the Danes and other Christianised religions. Similar to the Danish Vikings, the Swedish conversion to Christianity was not a sudden shift, but rather a gradual process. Missionary efforts and the influence of neighbouring Christian communities played a significant role in this conversion. Missionaries, inspired by the conversion of Denmark and other regions, ventured into Swedish territories, working to introduce Christian teachings to the local population. Notable figures such as King Olaf Skotkonung, who ruled in the late 10th century, played a crucial role in the conversion by adopting Christianity and fostering its acceptance in Sweden. The adoption of Christianity in Sweden was significantly influenced by the Danish experience with Christianity. Due to close geographical proximity and interactions with Danish territories, the Swedish Vikings were exposed to Christian beliefs and practices. This exposure, along with the efforts of missionaries and influential figures, contributed to the gradual acceptance of Christianity among the Swedish population. The Swedish conversion, like the Danish experience, involved a blending of beliefs. The integration of Christian practices into existing pagan traditions facilitated a smoother transition. This amalgamation allowed for a more gradual shift towards Christianity, enabling the Swedish Vikings to incorporate elements of their traditional beliefs while adopting new Christian practices. However, the process of Christianization in Sweden was relatively more gradual compared to some other regions. The Norse Vikings, originating from regions like Norway and Iceland, were exposed to Christianity through their extensive interactions with Christian societies and trade routes in the same way as the Swedes and the Danes. Missionary efforts played a significant role in the conversion of the Norse Vikings. Missionaries like Saint Anskar and others ventured into the Norse territories, adapting their strategies to resonate with the existing Norse beliefs and practices. They tailored their approaches to incorporate Christian teachings into the Norse cultural context, making the religion more relatable and acceptable to the Vikings. In addition to the efforts of missionaries, influential leaders and rulers also played a crucial role in the conversion process. Figures such as Olaf Tryggsson, who became the King of Norway, implemented policies to promote Christianity and sought to Christianise their kingdoms. The endorsement of Christianity significantly influenced their followers and subjects, contributing to the gradual acceptance of the new faith. Over time, Christian beliefs and practices intertwined with Norse customs, allowing for a more gradual and integrated adoption of the new faith without completely discarding their old traditions. 
this slow integration enabled the Norse Vikings to merge elements of their pagan heritage with Christian beliefs, creating a unique cultural and religious fusion that reflected a balance between old and new practices. As a result, the Norse conversion was far more organic and evolutionary. It set itself apart from the more immediate conversions witnessed in some other territories. Despite each region having factors influencing their conversion, the truth is they were neighbours and there was exchange of culture through marriage, trade and in some cases fighting together. There were differences in each region, sure, but ultimately all of the reasons affected all of the different regions to some extent. As the power of Christianity grew, it may have just been inevitable. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, leave your thoughts and share it with your friends. If you have watched to the end, I'm begging you to subscribe. I'm nearing my goal of 1000 subscribers. I'm looking to be there by the end of the year. If you've watched any of my previous videos, please let me know what you think about the talking robot. Should I get rid of it? Should I keep it? 